I'm going to talk to you about what we've been doing with CSDF and Brunel. To the carbon dioxide ORC project, which is funded by Innovate UK, and then uh, what we need to do for completion of that project and work beyond. Uh, CERL is uh, a 94-year-old company. We've been manufacturing in the UK all that period, still do. Uh, we have a large site in Fareham in Hampshire, uh, approximately 200 employees. Um, we have been working with CO2 now for a number of years, and I'll go into detail later as to why that has become an important refrigerant in our industry. Um, we've recently completed a two-year project that we funded directly with Brunel on gas coolers for refrigeration, particularly with supermarkets. Um, and that has led us on to an ORC project that I'll talk about as well. The typical products for Searle are refrigeration condensers, dry coolers, cooling water, glycol mixtures, and gas coolers, or uh, evaporators, glycol coolers, for taking heat out of typically supermarket cold stores. Uh, and the, the construction of a typical unit includes fans and casework, but our core um, excellence is the heat exchanger, copper tubes, copper and aluminium fins, circuited in an appropriate manner to suit the application. Um, for a number of years, we had owners who didn't wish to spend a lot of money on uh, investment, but in recent years, our previous and our current owners are prepared to spend money when they can see a return, and as well as on machinery, uh, manufacturing practices, this also includes research and development projects. Um, not necessarily from our owners, but due to a fire last year, we have new R&D facilities, including uh, environmental chambers and various other pieces of equipment. Um, despite having all that, we still wish to work with academia. Um, they have specialists in fields of different fields of research. They have academics who are at the forefront of technology and research. They have previous test equipment that can be utilized without great expense. Um, and particularly, they are useful, they have experience in um, applying for funding from other organizations. Um, and the process of working with such a, a renowned body as Brunel adds um, value to our product. And the reason we chose Brunel and CSEF was because of their reputation, their experience with working with some of our existing customers, their, um, uh, their experience, as I say, within this, this field. With CO2, they've done projects with display cases, with supermarkets, with display case manufacturers. And the use of carbon dioxide as a refrigerant has been about for a long time, but has more recently become popular because of the uh, FGAS regulations, the requirement to um, use uh, refrigerants that have a lower global warming potential. The supermarkets want to invest uh, in plant that, um, that has a long life and therefore to, to consider any of the, um, the common refrigerants 
now, they, they would not be able to use those in a number of years' time, so they have to look for something that is considered safe and has global, glo low global warming potential. Um, looking at, uh, what are they, carbon dioxide? Yes, carbon dioxide is a refrigerant that meets that requirement. It has a zero global warming potential and equivalent CO2 is only one. The supermarkets also have a, a great um, a, a ability to develop new products. They are very interested in taking on new developments to improve their refrigeration processes. For the gas cooler project, the first one we did with Brunel, we provided a gas cooler test unit, which, while um, it, it's got a lot more on it than a standard gas cooler that we sell will have, it, um, it is basically a gas cooler. It's got recirculating fans for controlling the air on temperature, and it has, um, it has coils that are interchangeable f so that we can swap them over, test different coil profiles and develop the construction of the heat exchanger to improve performance and reduce energy consumption. One of the specialities that the, the Brunel have is the CFD's abilities. Um, we've modelled, they've modelled for us a fin with the temperature profiles on there that show us the detailed working of the heat transfer, enable us to develop further the geometry of the, the fin. And you can see in the top picture there, the high temperature input pipes within the heat exchanger and the transfer of heat from them to surrounding pipes that reduces the efficiency of the overall heat transfer. In the lower section, the, the fin is split so that that heat is not transferred to all of the lower pipes and we can get up to a 7% improvement in heat transfer because of that. And obviously any increase in heat transfer will enable us to reduce the energy consumption of a product. And further improvements can be made by putting in the vertical slits that will separate the two uh, the tubes. Uh, and implementation of this, these features within our product have enabled us to greatly increase our market share of the, the gas cooler product. Uh, we're now selling to a large number of the supermarkets within the UK and within the Netherlands. The uh, ORC project that is funded by Innovate UK is, is a carbon, carbon dioxide fluid working in a ranking cycle. The advantage that this gives is that it improves efficiency when working with heat sources from, well, it says they're 200, about 150 degrees C to 350. The gas, let's see, yes, what's happening is that the heat's used to evaporate the CO2. Heat is used to evaporate the CO2 that then drives a turbine and generates electricity. This is a, a diagram of the rig that has been built by Brunel. They, there is a gas turbine generator there that is producing heat, producing electricity, but also wasting heat. There's then an oil... Uh, there's not a right order to things. There's a, an oil circuit in yellow that is transferring the heat from the flue of the gas turbine to an oil circuit and to the organic ranking cycle. 
and within the gas generator, the, the CO2 is evaporated to a gas at high pressure. That then passes through a turbine uh, to low temperature, low pressure, sorry, generating electricity. The low, temperature, low pressure gas then passes through the condenser, which is the part of the system that is provided by Searle, and turns into a liquid at low pressure. That then goes via a receiver to a pump where the pressure is increased and we go around the circuit again with the high pressure liquid being turned into a high pressure gas. The, because the liquid pump is working with a low volume fluid rather than a high volume gas, the amount of power you need to put in to change the pressure is less than the power you get out from the turbine working with the gas. The unit that we provided for this was similar to the gas cooler, um, recirculation fans. Uh, it also had adiabatic cooling because to maintain the liquid at the pump, it is necessary to cool to a temperature lower than the maximum ambient that might be, um, might be seen. And so the adiabatic cooling brings down the ambient temperature and keeps the CO2 as liquid at the pump. We also built into it a, a second coil for a parallel project using our 245FA as the working fluid rather than CO2. Working with uh, Innovate UK, or TSB as it was, um, we, the application process was relatively straightforward, partly because of all the work that Brunel put into the application. Um, once we got the application approved, Innovate UK appoint a project supervisor, um, Ian Groves, who is here today. He's responsible for the progress and supervision of the project. Um, we have quarterly meetings. We quarterly, we have to make applications for the financing. Um, and the process um, for claiming funding is relatively straightforward once you've done it the first time. Uh, we had difficulties with uh, obtaining some of the components and therefore it was necessary to, to uh, apply for an, an extension to the project and that was relatively straightforward and uh, promptly granted. And, and to have to say the project officer has given us good guidance and support in all the dealings with Innovate UK. Um, and and we've yet to finish this project um, with the delays. We have some test results so far. We are hoping to get more shortly. Um, when we do that, we will be comparing those results with another uh, mathematical model that has been produced by Brunel. Um, and when we have validation of that model, we can then go forward and show the improvements in efficiency, which we are expecting something like, uh, well, a typical ORC system would have about 10% efficiency. With this system, we ought to be able to achieve 15% efficiency, so conversion from heat to electricity. Um, and at the end of that, this project, we will then be looking to progress the work further looking at ways to market, so talking to our customers, talking to new customers who are in the uh, energy business, and the various applications for this wherever there is waste heat that is above 150 degrees C. Okay, thank you for your attention. <laughs>